Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at Facebook. Recently changed its name to Meta. They declared their earnings yesterday and the price plunges. We need to know why. Facebook is one of those stocks that super investors have in their portfolio. I also have it in my portfolio. Declaring earnings shouldn't be a big deal. This is just one quarter they declare and the price plunges. We will look at the figures, detail, why the price has fallen. Facebook earnings. Let me give you some few details before we actually looked at. I have seen the, um, the earnings statement and, and all that. Let me give you. The EPS is actually $3.67. What was expected is $3.87. The difference is not significant. This is a company that returns, that, that has cash flow of about 39 billion in its account, which is 65% from 2020. Now, let's look at the key aspect why uh, investors are freaking out. Um, daily user is 1.93 billion. The expected Daily user, um, uh, forecasted by analysts, is 1.95. It's not a big deal. Facebook is a value stock. It, it is still the same company. He makes money every year. Now, let's look at um, the revenue growth. The revenue growth for Facebook is about 37%. This is a company that makes buyback of about 19.8 billion last quarter investor you shouldn't allow the noise in the news you know um wall street analysts and all that you shouldn't allow them impact your decision on facebook whether it is time to buy or it is time to sell the earnings is not a big deal it is just one quarter so even if they're not even if they didn't make money this last quarter you shouldn't allow that to affect your decision let me tell you again, Facebook with its um, um, WhatsApp, Instagram and all that, they are facing competitors from TikTok and other social medias. So it, it is the giant that everyone wants to take their business. So you can expect that it might have a slow you know, growth because of other competitors. They are grabbing market share of Facebook, but Facebook's remain the dominant. So you need to note for a company like Facebook, Facebook who does not hold anyone, they have zero debt, zero, and they have cash flow of about 40 billion in their account. They can do anything with it. So the challenges really are the numbers of users, daily users, and also the metaverse platform. They've been investing in metaverse but you know investing in a new area you might not begin to have return until about maybe five to ten years down the line you know for a company like facebook facebook has come to stay so you shouldn't allow the noise and all that you want to look at intrinsic value of facebook i can tell you that the price is at intrinsic value now i have done my valuation i have seen that you know i will be adding more of facebook to my position this is the time to be greedy when others are fearful. At Elite Pro Investment Management, we have Facebook on all our funds. And we will be adding to the positions on, on our funds. We will be adding to position on our funds. Facebook might actually do another buyback, which will also give the um, stock more value. And as an investor, it increases not the numbers but the values of your shares let's look at um, facebook chat to see um where the price is at the moment and you know um before market open i mean pre-market it shows already uh 249 which is a big drop but let's have a look at the chart we are looking at facebook um pre-market 248 um the price that was closed yesterday was 323 that means it has dropped about 20 or 22 percent pre-market before market opens 
Um, the key data here are um, the PU ratio is 23.06. The EPS as at not this recent one is $14.01. Market cap $887.38 billion. Um, this must have been uh, floating market cap. Um, share outstanding 2.37. Let's look at all that information. Um, we will look at um, the chart on uh, Momo. That will give, give us more details to see where we can draw support and resistance. But, it, but you can see here, it's about 250. Um, the, the last volume trailer was uh, 58 million four and uh, 58. Um, you know, one day range, this is it. Can we look at some other fundamental information? Um, let's look at this. Facebook owners, meta stock price plunges pre market, jolting tech investors. Now you can read more of this. You can read more of all this if you have an, um, I mean, you can read it online. We are looking at Facebook on a daily chart. Facebook is actually, um, let me try. Got this um, support line that I can see here. Let me use this. It's currently on the support of um, 323. Um, it's trading below 20 day moving average. This is 20 day, 50 day, and 200 day moving average. Um, in recent correction, it went as far, it came down as far as 288. Also, um, pre-market is actually 247. It's like Facebook is crashing. I hate to use that language, but that is what it looks like. But guess what, guys? I must be honest, I'm happy because I want to buy more of Facebook shares. I want to add more to my position. So let me just look at this on a weekly chart. Let's see what we can see on the weekly chart. On a weekly chart, yes, it's okay. On a weekly chart, there's a resistance here. Yeah, on this resistance. Um, I, I won't talk about Facebook going upward now for, you know, whatever. He's sitting on the, should I say, yeah, on a resistance. Um, we, we, already, we know that it, it has come down to 247 around here. So let's say the support around here around here that I means approaching 200 day moving average on weekly chart um this is not good for a lot of people for facebook but for as a value investor i want to acquire more and um, i think they're happy on this however um yeah i mean Facebook is in stock. I have wanted to add more to my position. Let's go back to daily chart. On the daily chart, we can see there's a support here, here as well. But Facebook is not even approaching that area. There's a, a support here, as we can see. But what we are seeing in the market is 248. So it means that Facebook is already down. Let's let's just check if market open and it goes to 48. Let's measure what Facebook has dropped from the recent high, which that will be 384. So let's say, well, we can't even do that here on a daily chart. So let's go to weekly chart. On a weekly chart, let's say Facebook has from the recent high 384. If Facebook Eventually, if, if Facebook eventually come down to 2, 2, 40, 48, as we can see, 49, that means Facebook has lost, has dropped about 33 cents from the recent high. That's a lot for, um, of talk like Facebook to drop. However, this market, anything can happen. Guys, I won't lie. 
I'm excited. I want to buy more of this. We have seen the chart. We have seen what the chart is telling us. It is not significant. It's on, it's on a support. Now, I will be adding more to my own position. At Elite Pro, we will add more to our, our funds. We have done our valuation. We believe that we, will, we are getting it at an intrinsic value. Do your valuation. Do not allow uh, anyone mislead you. And also, do not buy stock because somebody on YouTube says they are buying stock or it's at intrinsic value. Have your own metric. Do your valuation before you add to the position. Thank you for watching this channel. We hope that we have given value to your time. Please like and share and recommend our page, our channel to your friends. Thank you.